And now let's go to Larry Merchant standing by with the man of the moment, Corey Sanders. All right, thank you, Jim. Uh, congratulations, Corey. Does this mean you're going to have to uh, postpone your golf career? <laughs> that it looks like it, yes. Uh, yeah, like I said, yeah, I always think I had, you know, uh, opportunity to beat him. And, and I'm one of the good heavyweights in the world. And uh, I'm sure tonight uh, prove it, you know. Did you know something about him, see something about him that made you feel that, A, he was open for that left hand and that, B, he hadn't really been tested by a big punch? You know, I, I honestly think he hasn't been tested by a good punch, to be honest. Uh, you know, last night, Lennox Lewis phoned me and he said to me, Cody, put pressure on a guy, don't let him dictate the guy, he, he, he can't take it. He's scared, you got to put pressure on him. And that's when I, you know, when I got in tonight, I thought that's not going to hit me with a couple of shots, which didn't hurt me, and I thought, you know, go forward and attack him. Do you, are you uh, friends with Lennox Lewis that he would call you up to give you a pep talk? Yeah, we, we know it. So, you know, uh, it's very great of Lennox to do it. Uh, we belong to the same promoters and, and, and so. And, uh, you know, like I said, he just phoned me last night and uh, I was surprised too and it's a great honor for me. You've talked about going to a sports psychologist to give you some uh, positive thoughts. You cut off your mustache to change your look. You got in top shape. Lennox Lewis called you. Were all these things coming together for you tonight? I believe so, you know. Like I said, it's the first time that I've been to a sports psychologist, and it's fantastic. Everything worked like I wanted to work it, and uh, tonight prove it. All right, let's take a look at some of the knockdowns, and you tell us what you saw and whether you felt how vulnerable he was. Well, you know, when I caught him there, you know, I could have seen his eyes. He's got like a skate, you know, and I knew uh, that, uh, you know, he can't take shots. And that's when I thought, you know, uh, you got to go and, and just, you know, catch him with a great lift. And uh, which definitely happened, and uh, he was gone. I knew, you know, it's just a matter of time and going to catch him again. And so that even when you got to round two, you knew it was over? For sure, you know, when he walked to the corner, he was gone. Uh, I mean, I know myself also, you know, when a guy catches you once, it's hard to get back. And uh, which surprised me basically tonight was, you know, he didn't use his jab like I know he used it. And uh, I took advantage of it. I know this is unexpected also at this time. Do you have any plans now? to either fight Vitaly Klitschko, who challenged you twice in the ring. What was that? No, I don't know. Uh, my opinion, it's, I think he's a bad sportsman, to be honest. You know, uh, you win some, you lose some. And he came to me and I'll take back and I'll get you back and all that because I beat his brother. So, uh, you know, well, bad luck for him. He had the title and I'm not looking at him. Thank you very much. Again, congratulations, Corey Sanders. Thank you very much. Jim?